Hello and welcome to a new video talking about dynamic array formulas video number four These videos are only for office 365 users If you're using any other version of Excel You won't be able to apply the examples that we're going to present in this video In this video, we're going to see how we can create our own pivot table using dynamic array formulas This pivot table will look like this small table Let's have a look on it on Excel and see how this works as you can see here is your source data five columns date region category product and net sales it comes in five thousand rows and you have here your summary report looks like a pivot table and all built using the dynamic array formula you have the drop down here if you change the selection accessories to bikes instantly the size of the table will be changed all the numbers will be updated directly let's change again clothing it will expand again all the formatting will be changed automatically as you can see and all built using dynamic array formulas in order to build this report we are going to use some dynamic array formulas such as sequence sort and unique all of them we discussed in the previous videos and we add to them today filter will give an explanation to filter today it will be quick and more explanation will come in next videos and also we're going to use some normal functions like sum ifs transpose if count and count a and we are going to add some conditional formatting and data validation in order to add the drop down to the top of the table and also the conditional formatting to make sure that the formatting of the table is changing with dynamic changes in table size so at the beginning what we need is to start with a drop down menu that we are going to use to select the category as we see in the example so we are going to use the data validation but before using data validation we need the unique list of all the categories inside this table this is something that we can do using the unique function equals uniq tab for unique then we need to add the array if we hover over the top of the column category we'll see this black arrow just one click you'll see that here is the sales pt the name of the table and the header of the column which is category close the bracket and enter here you go you have the unique list but it is not sorted i can go inside the formula bar before unique and i can use the sort function s-o-r-t tab nothing required in addition to the array which is coming out of the unique function then close the bracket and enter here you go you have the unique list and now it is sorted i need to add this to the data validation so let's take it a little bit on the right i'm going to use the data validation from data tab i can go to data tools and then select data validation i'm going to select list and then the source i can just highlight the list that, that i just prepared it's only four items you can see here but because we are using the dynamic array formulas and this is a spilled array i can just put o4 but i can just add a hash if i add the hash this will understand that i'm going to use the entire spilled array the entire spilled list starting at o4 so if i use this and then click on ok you will see here you have the drop down menu and it is dynamic if anything added to the table a new category added it will be added to the list and then it will be for sure in your drop down menu let's write here category and do some quick formatting the second step is to create a unique list of all the products but not all the products the products that related to the category selected inside this drop down so i'm going to do this using two functions first one is filter and then unique so let's start with the filter one i'm going to type equal and then f i l t e r then tab here you go i need to select the array as you can see here so the array for this time will be the product column i'm going to select from the table and then comma second argument is what to include what to include should be filtering based on the category so i'm going to select the category column and then type equal and then pointing or referencing h5 which includes the selection of my category so this is telling excel please filter this list of products but based on the selection inside this cell the cell h5 based on the category column so i'm going to close the bracket and then enter you will see a very lengthy list of all the products inside the, this table but filtered 
using the category bikes so in order to have this as a unique list i need to wrap this function with a unique function so carefully i'm going to the formula bar and before the filter function p u n i q and then tab only argument that i need is array the rest of argument is optional as you can see i can just close the bracket and enter here you go i have a unique list of all the products inside the bikes category if i change the selection the unique list of products will be automatically changed this is the second step now i have the filter of the report which is based on the category i can select my category from here and based on this selection the list of products which is the labels of the rows will be changed now i need to build the headers of the columns so i need another unique list of values this time for the regions so the headers will be the regions but need to be spilled on the columns not to the rows so in order to do this i'm going to use also the unique function so i'm going to type equal uniq tab I need to select the region column so I'm going to hover over it and one click close the bracket and enter the list of regions but it's spilled to the rows I need to change this to columns I can use the function transpose if I go carefully inside the formula bar and before the unique function I can start to type transpose tab the only argument required is the array which is coming from the unique function and then close the bracket and enter and here you go at end i can just type total here i'm going to calculate the total of the rows now we need to start to populate the numbers in the intersection between the rows and columns meaning that i need two criteria i need to take numbers from this table from the net sales column but based on two criteria first one based on the region which is the headers of the columns and second one will be the products which is the headers of the rows so in order to do this i need a function like some ifs so let's start to write together equals s u m i f s tab some range will be the net sales i can just hover my mouse and one click to select the header of the column comma the criteria range for sure the first criteria will be the products the labels of the rows i can just select comma the criteria itself will be in cell g8 but because i'm working on dynamic array i can just put the hash and you will see that it selected the entire spilled array the second criteria range will be the region so i can just select the column of the region and comma the criteria sits in the columns cell h7 and if i put the hash it will select the entire range or the entire spilled array to the columns the one that contains the region if i close the bracket and enter let's see what will happen it will produce the entire table as you can see here except for the totals we are going to do another equation for this total let's try the filter accessories expandable numbers are changing let's do another quick sum if for the total it will be exactly the same i can just take the same a copy from the same formula control c and come here and control v but this time no need for the region i need the grand total for each product itself so i can just inside the formula bar take out h7 and region backspace close the bracket and enter it will populate the entire column for the totals you can quickly check the total is correct check another line your total is correct a quick number formatting and we are good to go so the last step in my mind is to add the total the total line here below the numbers below the columns and then the grand total in the intersection between the total that we're going to build here and the total in the columns so before doing this i need to have a serial number for this number of products so i have here six products i need a serial from one to six here i can do this using the sequence function so i need first to count the number of the rows that i have here inside this spilled array and then to add a sequence function let's do this together quickly i can just take the same equation here unique and filter control c and escape and then go to g g column actually it's g8 in the formula bar i can just start by counting i can just use a count function now i'm counting text so i can use count a and then paste the function the entire function the entire formula and then close the bracket for count and enter it will give you six as you can see here this is the number of the spilled array the number of rows in the spilled array if you change 
this six will change to four and so on and so forth i need now the serial number i need to wrap it with a sequence number so carefully in the formula bar before the count a i can start writing sequence s e q tab this is the only required argument i can just close the bracket and enter so in order to identify the position of the row that I need to put the total in, I should to count something that is related to the spelled arrays. Let me try something here in the column O. I'm going to count this spelled array starting in G8. So I'm going here, equal, and then very simple count function. And then I'm going to write G8 and then hash, meaning that I need just to count this spelled array. It will give me four and this count will be dynamic with the change that I can do in the filter here. So accessories will give me six and so on and so forth. But the position for the total row should be number seven, not six in this case. So I'm going to add one here, going to the formula bar and add one. You will see it will give me seven. If we change here to bikes, it will give me five. And I have four rows and the count here is five. If I put sequence before this count, very simple sequence, I'm going to the formula bar and wrap this uh, formula with a sequence and close the bracket. As you can see in the formula bar, it will give me one to five. And again, this will be dynamic with my changes in the filter. Now I need to change this count and instead of one, two, up to five to a logical value, true or false. In order to do this, I need to compare it with the count of the original list itself. So let me just going again to the active cell, the first cell, and I'm going to just take a copy of the count uh, for the spelled array itself, control C. After uh, the end of sequence, I'm going to compare it with the count of the original spelled array, but this time without adding one. And then I'm going to press enter. Let's see what will happen. I have a list of falses and the last row, which is the position of the total row, it will be true let me try to change this to clothing now i have eight rows and in the ninth row i have the true so i can use this the formula that we did together here i can just use it inside an if statement in order to put either the total value or the original value as you can see here let's let's work on the column h i need to write after this uh, list of products i need to write total uh, right here so let's try to put it here with the if statement so instead of having the sequence i can just go in the formula bar and before sequence i can just put if statement if and tab logical test is the entire equation that we did together value if true let's write total so i'm going to type total between double quote and if false let's type um, number enter you will see here num number 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 and then total i can just take the same if statement control c and let's go here inside the formula in column h and try to put it uh, together with the unique and filter together so i'm going carefully before the unique function and control v here is the if statement i need only one equal let me delete the second one and i need to replace this the number with the entire equation that i put at the beginning so i'm going to delete number and the bracket and then if you try to read now the logical test here is the logical test the the sequence with the count and then value if true please write total value if false the unique and filter equation and then i need one bracket to close the if statement and enter here you go you have the total written here as you can see i can do the same for each and every one let's try another one i'm going to take just another copy from this if statement control c let's put something in column b control v and for sure instead of writing the number total i need something to give me the total of the region so the category and the region together so instead of writing just total as you can see here i need just to have a sum if function in order to calculate the total per region to be uh, written here down each column so let's try to uh, write the sum ifs together s u m i f s and tab sum range it will be for sure in the net sales as usual criteria range one i need first criteria to be the category which is clothing let me select the category column criteria should be in this 
cell, the I5, and then the criteria range two will be the regions because I need the total of the region. So I'm going to select the column region and the criteria is sitting in here, as you can see in cell I7, which I have the, the beginning of the spilled array for the region. If I add the hash, this will spill to the right for the columns. I can just close the sum ifs. Now I have the formula saying that if the formula is true, please calculate the total for the region. And if the formula is false, do something else, which is just write number. If I hit on enter, you will see that I have a spelled array with number number everywhere. But in the total column, I have the totals here. If I can just take this function as we did from the top corner, I can just have a copy of this from this if statement, control C, going here on the top corner of this spelled array and control V just between the equal and sum ifs. Let's delete the bracket and number and let's try to read the function together. Logical test, you can see here the sequence with the count and then value if true, the sum if for the total, value if the false, please do the sum if for the body of the table. I need just to close the bracket for if and enter. And here you go. I have the total as you can see under here. I can just test the totals. It is working perfectly. And you can check another region. It is working perfectly. Totals is very good. Let's try to change the filter and see what will happen. I think it's very good. The total row is changing. And if you check any of the values, the total of the of any of this column, the total for sure will be very good on the rows and on the columns. The last thing we need to put the grand total. In order to do this, I'm going to take another copy of this formula and try to amend and see how we can do this together. And instead of writing total, I need to put something different. For me, it will be again another sum if, but this time one condition, which is the grand total of the entire a category sum ifs tab sum range again the same sum range the net sales comma for the criteria range one this time should be the category criteria range for sure will be i5 where i changed my selection for the filter and then close the bracket for sum ifs and enter let's check here you go here is the number here is the grand total let's check this total together 36,059.99 the total is working perfectly let's try to take this formula inside our table I'm going to copy the entire if statement from the formula bar going to m8 before the sum ifs I'm going to between the equal and sum ifs control v backspace to erase the bracket for sum if for if statement and then backspace to take out the hard coded number written let's check our formula logical test here is the sequence and count value if true please calculate the grand total value if false please calculate the total for the rows i can just close the bracket for if statement and enter and here you go i think it's working perfectly let's try to change the selection bikes perfect another one components working perfectly i need to take out all this no need for all these formulas anymore just to illustrate and now i need just to do the conditional formatting this is the last step so first of all i need just to do a border for each and every cell that contains a value so i'm going to select the entire table and i'm going to go like up to row 25 as you can see here and from the home ribbon conditional formatting I'm going to select new rule and from new rule I'm going to select the second option which is format cells that contains down here in the edit the rule description I'm going from the drop down selecting no blanks and in the format I'm going to select the format it will open the format cell dialog box let me go to border and from border I'm going to select the dotted border and click on outline okay another okay you will see that a border already drawn surrounding each and every cell that contains value last thing I need to do highlight 
in the last row as you can see in the header row as you can see here I need to do the same highlight down here so let's again try to put something uh, a logic that can help us in order to understand how to identify the last row in the conditional formatting as you can see in column H you will see that uh, the total row it contains text and then blank so this contains text next is again text this one is text the next is text but the last one is text and the next to the last one is blank so let me try to do a test to see where is my last row so I'm going to do something like the is text function it's a function that asking Excel the content of this cell is text or not so I'm going to just select h1 and enter it gives me true if I take it to the rest it will give me true all the way so I'm, I need to add another function or another condition inside the same so I'm going to use the and function before is text so I'm going to use and and then I'm going to ask another question but this time for the next row for h9 I'm going to ask Excel is this blank so I'm going to use the function is blank and then h9 close the bracket for is blank and the bracket for and and enter this time it will give me false because this is a text and this is not blank so the answer is false if I take this down all the way through it will give me falses every and each line except the total row which is exactly what I want I can just take this copy and go again to the conditional formatting but just I need to highlight uh, the column and for sure I'm going to uh, little bit down up to line 25 conditional formatting this time again a new rule but this time I am going to the last option use a formula to determine and I'm going to paste the formula as you can see here this time format let me take the font I need it bold and fill I'm going to put the light gray and okay okay now you can see the total here is shaded with gray and is bold let's try to change the filter I think it's working perfectly I need to do something similar here but this will be a little bit different so I'm going to copy the same formula here let's put it in Q column and instead of selecting this I'm going to select these two cells and actually I'm going to select the entire row and the same here and instead of asking is text because this is not text for sure I'm not I'm going to ask is number and enter here you go it give me the false and let me take it down it will give me false all the way down except for the total row I think this will work in the conditional formatting but the issue that I need to do it a column by column control C I'm going to select up to 25 I'll do the same steps exactly the same steps from conditional formatting new rule paste the formula format light gray font bold okay and okay now it's working I need to do the same for the rest of the columns now I have all the conditional formatting done let me try again bikes it's working accessories perfect no need for these formulas I can just take out select and delete I can push this few columns away insert this is perfect exactly like the example that I showed you at the beginning that was all for today hope that was useful for you and before leaving you if you didn't subscribe to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and see you in the next video and bye